Welcome to Webstyle Press. How to download and run projects from GitHub? This and similar questions are asked many times by beginners. I receive questions like how to clone and run a project from GitHub, how to download React project from GitHub and run it, how to run React project from GitHub in VS Code, and similar questions. This video is answering all of those questions. You want to run project on Windows or locally from GitHub? This video is for you. You want to download or clone GitHub project and run it? This video will explain how. GitHub is a place where a variety of projects built with different technologies are hosted. These include JavaScript, React.js, Ruby on Rails, Node.js, PHP, Python, and more. Before you download and use the code or any project, first you should know in which tech stack it's built with. I will take an example of this React.js project. First of all, have a look at a repository's readme file, readme.md. It will display some information about the project and technologies used in it. It may also show how to install dependencies and how to run the project. Then, from project's root directory, look for the file named package.json. View its code, it will tell what are the project's dependencies. This repo has got React and React DOM packages as shown by package.json file. So it's obvious that this project is built with React.js. React.js based projects need JavaScript runtime environment to run. So Node.js should be installed in PC to run such projects. These projects depend on additional packages to run called dependencies. These are all dependencies for this project. Git for Windows can be used to install dependencies. It's a command-based utility. We'll get back to it in a minute. Let's download this project. But as I said, this is a React.js based project. So Node.js should be installed in the system. And make sure you have got a terminal. Or if you are on Windows, make sure you have Git for Windows installed. To download a project or a repository, click Add Code button on GitHub repository page. Click on Download Zip. Extract contents of zip file. And we have the project files. Now we can also clone the project. To clone the project, click at code, copy this URL by clicking this icon. You can also use HTTPS link. Open Git Bash. When you download Git for Windows, it adds Git Bash option in the right click menu. I have installed Git for Windows already, so I will right click and select Git Bash here. Git Bash here will open the command line utility in this folder that we are in. So use command git clone and then repository URL. Hit enter and we have got the repository files. Full project. Git clone will copy project files to desired location. In my case, this folder. Now downloading and cloning gave us project files. What is the difference between downloading a repository and cloning a repository from GitHub. Downloading is simpler, one-time operation to just get the files, while cloning is more robust solution that integrates with Git's version control capabilities, making it more suitable for ongoing development and collaboration for that particular repository. Downloading is ideal for users who just want to obtain the files and are not planning to contribute back to the repository. It does not preserve the Git version control history. You only get the current snapshot of the repository. So in case project gets updated, to get the updated files, you have to manually download the zip file again. But cloning preserves the entire Git history of the repository. This includes all branches, tags, and commits. With cloning, you can easily update your local clone with the latest changes from the original repository using git commands like git pull. So if you are just interested in the project's current state, download it in zip format. 
But if you want to contribute back to this project, cloning will be more suitable option. Okay, so now we have downloaded it or cloned it. How to run this app? Now this is projects folder, root directory of the project that contains package.json file. Get bash here or open terminal window and browse to this directory or folder. First, we'll have to install its dependencies. For that, use command npm i or npm install. This will install all the dependencies for the project. If you look at the package.json file for this project, it's got this script start. So we can use this command to run the app. First, make sure dependencies have been installed. Clear terminal. Now we can run the project by using this command npm start. And here is the app. So you'll get the clues about the project dependencies and how to run the app by looking at package.json file if the project has it. Projects that use Node.js as its JavaScript runtime environment usually has got package.json file. So this is how you can download project from GitHub or clone project from GitHub, install dependencies and run locally on your PC. Now there are alternatives to this method as well. If you don't want to download the project and you want to check it online and run it online, we've got ways to do that as well. Check the links in video description for that. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.